Okay, so I know there's been a lot of confusion and questions on this ATI, so I'm going to try to do this um, little demo here and see if this helps at all. I don't know if this is going to help you guys or not, but what I want to show you is this is what the screen looks like when I log in to see student view. So you have a screen, tells you your recent activity, what you've recently worked on. Um, so this is the t uh, diabetes skills module, diabetes management that was due this Friday and says it's still in progress. Okay, but you guys go to my ATI, or you can click on that when it pops up, it says it's still in progress, that's what you can click on. But I clicked on my ATI. And I'm in the learn mode, and that's where I wanna be. And um, learning systems, that's where that endocrine was. Click on quizzes, that was due Friday. And you start coming down here and it's all alphabetical. Med surge, cardiovascular, dermatological, endocrine. So you would go right here to begin the quiz. Okay, and here begins the quiz. Right here you'll notice it's telling me the time lapsed, how much time I spent in the quiz. And I can go to tools if I need to and have a glossary, calculator, critical thinking guide. And I can flag the question if I need to. Okay. You can show a hint, hide hint. Okay. All right. Continue after each answer. This says it's unanswered. I haven't even read the question. I'm just going to pick something and we're going to move on. It's incorrect. And now it's going to explain to me why. The correct answer is the correct answer and the incorrect answer. It's giving you a rationale. So be sure you read through these and understand this rationale. Okay. Then you click continue again. Now I'm on to the next question. Okay. But let's go back. When you have the learning modules, those are all just quizzes, learning systems. Okay. But we also had, that was due yesterday, was skills module, the diabetes skills module. So you click on the green skills modules. And again, these are going to be in alphabetical order. So the one that was due Friday was diabetes management. So we would do a pretest, begin the test, do a pretest, then continue. I've already started the lesson. You can see it says begin lesson, but I've already started the lesson. And it tells me exactly how much time I've spent in the lesson. I've only spent 10 seconds in the lesson because I clicked on it just to see what you guys are seeing. So again, here's the lesson. Let me move my... Right here's the duration and the time spent. Okay. How much time I've spent in the lesson this time. And then it will add it all together when I exit again. And it'll again tell me how much the duration is. How much duration of uh, time I've spent here. You can watch the little intro video, learning objectives. All right, terminology. Uh, accepted practice. Anatomy and physiology, exercise and activity, injectable medications, insulin pump, nutrition, oral medication, patient education all over here. Okay. Lots of really good inter, uh, information. Interactive resources, anatomy and of the diabe of diabetes. Okay, it's telling you where everything is. How it works, type 2 diabetes, gestational diabetes, complications. Okay, you get the gist here. And here's my time, still counting. So when we're asking you guys to stay in these, doing these um, skills modules, the ones that are due that have been assigned to the whole class is one hour. So you're watching this time. You can watch this time up here. And I mean, I, whatever, you're going to spend an hour to the second. That's up to you. Obviously, the more you spend, the more time you spend in it. If you spend, if you need more time in it, spend more time in it. But this is also kind of up to you guys on how much you want to put into it. But you are required to put in one hour. Right now, I've only spent one minute and 40 seconds in here. Okay, step-by-step -step viewing, blood glucose measurement, evidence-based research, practice challenges, okay, 
really good stuff in here to do. Challenge one, challenge two, challenge three. All of this is to prepare you for NCLEX. Frequently asked questions, documentation, okay? You can easily spend several hours in this, in a skills module, but we're requiring you to spend one hour in the skills module, and it's gonna tell you right here. When you're done, you close out. And we come back. Oh, and there and it's telling me. Come back to the skills module. Here's diabetes management. I've now spent a total of two minutes and 28 seconds in the diabetes management lesson. Once I've spent the hour in the diabetes management lesson, two hours, three hours, however long I need, but minimum of one hour, then I need to go on and do the post test. Begin the post test. Okay? And then you can get your results. All right. So I'm really hoping that this helps you guys understand this a little bit better because I'm seeing a lot of people that are going in and um, just doing a pretest or going in and just doing a post test and spending no time in the lesson. When you do this post test, you can retake it as many times as you need to to get 100%. Same thing when we went into the endocrine up in the um, other module. I'll show you and just I'll go back to it in a second. But the same thing, you keep redoing the test until you can get 100% on the post test. Okay. All right, we'll close out of that. Le learning systems, that one right there. All right, so um, I'm hoping that that's going to help you guys a bit. But right here, learning systems, these are the quizzes. These are only quizzes. And endocrine was one that was due yesterday. You go in, you go to endocrine, you retake the test as many times as it takes to get 100%. And then you have other things like the diabetes management module, which was due yesterday. When you go in here to the modules again, and you go to the pretest, you take the pretest, you do the focused, uh, the lesson, the, sorry, beginning test, you do the lesson, tells you exactly how much time you spent in the lesson. I've only spent two minutes and 28 seconds in the lesson. And then you do the post test, and you continue to take the post test as many times as it takes till you get 100% on the post test. That will earn your points for, um, so Friday had, I think, four points attached to it. it was two points for diabetes management and two points for the endocrine. But in order to get the diabetes management, you had to um, do the pretest, ideally, although not everyone did that. You definitely had to spend an hour in the lesson, and you had to do the post-test as many times as it took to get 100%. Those of you that missed um, clinical or had to leave clinical early, um, these are some of the other, I think, which, let's see, infection, infection control, I think was one that was assigned. You would do the beginning test. You spend 45 minutes in the lesson and you do the post test until you get 100% to get your points for that, for that hour of, or hour and 33 minutes or whatever it was of clinical time that you all missed. Same thing with, um, Nutrition, feeding, and eating was one of them that was assigned. And ostomy care was the other one that was assigned. Okay. All right. So I'm hoping that helps. If you have more questions, again, please let us know on the um, discussion board post. And I'll be the first to admit that I have a hard time remembering to go and look at that post. So if you need to, if you post something on the discussion board and we're not responding, um, you know, within 24 hours or within the day, then go ahead and shoot some, uh, you can shoot me an email, that's fine. Um, and then I can look at it and double check it. Now, when you did the, um, the, I don't have a, any focused review remediation products, but when you did, um, oh, what's it called? When you did your test, your, your practice test, would you have another one coming up? It's in here. Practice uh, assessment. Which one did you all do? Um, I think what's getting ready to come up is this one, children. Nursing care of children, practice test A. So you would begin it, do the practice test. Oh, pharmacology, that's what you did right here. You would begin it, do the test, then when you're done with that, you would come over here and go to improve. And I don't have anything because I haven't, don't have the te a test pulled up, but then I would see improve. And this would 
tell me this would be my focused review and I would go into this this would be my focused review and again just like the other thing was doing on the skills modules it keeps a clock up here running telling you exactly how long you're spending in the focused review um, because you were required to spend a minimum of one hour in the focused review and then do the ALTs that were that go along with that that active learning templates okay that are right here notice I clicked right here active learning templates study material okay so I'm gonna uh, hope that this helps a little bit in navigating this um, system as I do know that it is confusing and, and we're still kind of getting the hang of it as well but um, you know it can be very beneficial to you we, we required you guys to spend the money on this and we want you to get your money's worth out of it so do as much stuff as you can take as many quizzes learn as many lessons as you can not only for the class itself although it should as well help you in class but for um for uh, being successful on the NCLEX on taking boards uh, this should also really help you so again it is something we required of you and we want you to get the most out of it okay all right, thanks.